How's it going everyone? Welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Captain's Voyages. In the Captain Sea update for Sea of Thieves in 2020-22, it brought out a new type of voyages locked to captains only. It also brought back mercenary voyages and allowed you to fuse all of them together. These are essentially a Voyage 2.0 system and we're going to be talking about the differences and what's more worth your time in the video. So let's get into it. So, starting off, what are Captain's Voyages? Captain's Voyages are stored aboard your ship and come in all shapes and sizes, allowing captains to pick the objective, length, and difficulty of the next adventure. Captain's Voyages are a more compact version of the normal trading company voyages, with the only main differences being that they're available to captains and their crews only, meaning you have to be on a captain's ship to do them. There can only be 50 of each uh, that can be stored on the captain's ship at any given time, and they are voted upon on the voyage table like normal voyages. Wrapped inside of the new captaincy voyages, there is the bringing back of the mercenary voyages, which were way back in the day, like 2019. And the easiest way to explain mercenary well, voyages is just by saying it's an Athena voyage without the Athena chapter. So you'll have gold hoarders, merchant, and order of soul stuff you'll need to do. But nevertheless, that is the rundown. Essentially, to sum it up in like one quick phrase, I suppose, the new captaincy voyages are voyages 2.0. Are they worth it? Here's the big question. Short answer if you got stuff to do and you got a busy day is yes, but let me explain why. So because you can have multiple of them on the ship at any given time, it means you do not need to go back to the outposts, as I stated. So essentially, that means you can hang out in the uh, shores of plenty and just pretty much sit there the entire time and refresh voyages. Meaning if you are using these voyages for a way to level up, uh, assuming you're on a captain crew, of course, it's a much, much better way to do it. Even these uh, mercenary quests coming back are quite major too, if you want to level up the three original factions and they are the way to go. Now these systems are split up into two different sections, so you get the uh, level 25 requirement ones, which is sort of like the entry part, and then you have the level 50 requirement ones, which is where you get the uh, higher tier stuff. So you do have to be level 25 and a captain, of course, in each faction to actually get these missions and do them. But that small bit of grind is worth it. There's only one big downside to these new voyages, and I'm just going to state here that this is more so my personal opinion, and I believe it's a big downside personally. If you do want to play Sea of Thieves just to get gold, and you want to get as much gold as possible, I'd say completely avoid these missions. At the end of the day, uh, you'll make more gold doing shipwreck missions as opposed to the Prize Merchant Alliance Commission missions. That was hard to say. When it comes to getting gold, you're still going to find things like Reapers and World Events and just normal shipwreck missions are way more beneficial. As well as that heading over to the Devil's Raw and just doing Devil's Raw voyages that you get from Molten Sands. No, Mor Morrow's Peak Outpost, that's the one. Uh, however, if you do want reputation and you just want to smash out missions really quickly, I'd recommend the Captain's Voyages, which makes these way better missions as opposed to normal missions. Uh, in summary, to finalize it all up and put a nice little bow on this entire video, if you want rep and you want to level up rep-wise, go ahead and do these new voyages, get a captain's ship, all that stuff is going to help you, that's what you need. But, if your main goal is to just get gold and sail across the entire Sea of Thieves, I'm going to have to tell you to not bother with these new captain's voyages. In summary, that's my opinion, and that's my thoughts. If you guys disagree with me, let me know down in the comments. If you do agree with me, feel free to leave a like on the video and tell me what you think about these new captain's missions and whether or not they are your new favorite thing. With that being said, have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. Stay safe, stay groovy, and stay cool. And if you want to check me out on Twitch, there's a top link in the description, or just type twitch.tv forward slash sin. We do Twitch drops and give away Obsidian six packs all the time. Nevertheless, I'll see you later. Enjoy yourselves, and thank you for watching.